Hello and uh, welcome to Dent Station, um, my model railway based on the highest station in England. Project of mine for the past five years or so and has currently been featured in the edition of BRM May 2020, which is a nice accolade for myself. Um, it's taken, say, five years to build and it's, it's quite quite a good representation if I say so myself um, I'm going to give you a bit of a guided tour around the layout and then I'm basically going to film a, a timetable sequence from around 6am to around 10pm of the various um, true to life type freights that we've run through Dent working from a, t a working timetable um, first of all, we'll, we'll show you a, a good tour around the layout, um, show you the bits and bobs of it. Uh, it's, it's all analogue, there's no DCC, so there's a little bit of non-commentary video playing in the background for a little bit of ambience. Uh, so we'll probably have that running when there's trains running. So. First of all, we'll just have a, a tour of the layout then, uh, get used to see what the, the features are. Um, you probably won't see much of me in the forthcoming episodes. Um, I'm not uh, happy sitting in front of a camera. So everything will be just a commentary in the background if required, uh, and uh, what the locals are, what the train is, etc. Uh, so let's start off with a, a guided tour. At the south end of the layout uh, some modellers license has had to be used. Uh, obviously don't have the length to reach Bleemoor Tunnel. The fell uh, above Dent Station is known as Widdale Fell. So I've created Widdale Tunnel and Viaduct. I don't have room for Arton Gill or Dent Head, so this is uh, the closest I can get in the space available. So let's say this is looking south. Trains towards Helifield through this tunnel. And then we pass through into Dentdale itself on the hillside is the well famous quite famous snow fences. Uh, the period modelled is the fifties, sixties, end of steam era into diesel. And the fences by this time were pretty well dilapidated. Signals are all scratch built based on the prototypes. We carry through and we come to Dent Station signal box and the plate layers bothy. The signal box is a York model making, model making kit, a uh, laser cut kit, in excellent quality. The, the Bothy is all scratch built, as are all the other buildings on the layout. You're looking south again. The refuge siding in the background there with a couple of ballast wagons in. That was lifted in the mid 60s I think it was. But I've retained it uh, just for some operational potential. Uh, the refuge, <coughs> refuge siding on the, the northbound side remained there until the 1980s as far as I know when the signalling was removed. This is a good yard, 
probably didn't see this much activity in its day, but uh, you have to have some interest in your modelling. So the station building itself and the waiting room are all scratch built from uh, Perspex shell and various plastic cards. And once again, York model making. Uh, I sent them some designs for the windows and they produced some fabulous laser cut windows for me. The, the level of detail in these windows you could not possibly achieve trying to make them by hand. So I'm very pleased with these. And then we come through the first feature of the the line is Monkey Beck, it's known as so the bridge into the station from the coal road. So that's Monkey Beck running underneath the railway. And then bridge number 96, the coal road bridge. That road leads directly to Garsdale. You go across there for about three and a half mile and you'll reach Garsdale station. Station Master's house. Uh, I know the owner and he's uh, informed me it does still does not have a water supply. All water required is taken from Monkey Beck. South. Come over through the bridge and then there's this spillway and then once again we have to have a little bit of modeler's license because Rise Hill Tunnel is uh, a good mile and a bit in distance but we have to bring it a bit closer. There's another culvert here and a distance signal. And we find we've arrived at the far end of the layout. Rise Hill Tunnel. And just some farmland to finish the layout off. This is the main control panel. This can control the complete layout if I'm on my uh, operating on my own. Uh, I do have some friends who come around twice a week and we have a operating session where we have a control panel each. Show you those now. This is dent head control panel with the fiddle yard to the right and the main lines are the two black lines with the blue line in between. They run through the station. The two other black lines above them are two hidden loops which run behind the scenery. And this is the guard this is the Garsdale end fiddle yard. Again the two black lines are seen for the other end of those loops. And the fiddle yard runs off to the left on here. And this is a view of the fiddle yard uh, having come out of Rise Hill Tunnel. We go into the spread of lines, there's ten sidings, five in each direction. And there's a crossover between roads five and six. If I want to uh, swap some stock from one line to the other, I just use the crossover rather than having to lift it. Uh, the, other, that, the blue moor end is a little bit more complicated. Uh, the layout is in a building behind the garage. Those are the loops heading off on the right and those are the main lines forking off to the left. 
Now we go through the garage wall here. We're a bit restricted space wise so it just follows through and that is the view going through the main garage wall to the main part of the fiddle yard shown before. There's only six sidings here but they branch out into ten once we've gone through the brick wall. So just a general view of the whole layout and then we'll commence with the first train of the day. <laughs> 